ask anybody the name of a telescope, uh, Hubble is the name that always comes up. The public, the general public, seems to have a love affair with Hubble. I mean, this is the telescope that everybody recognizes, uh, recognizes the images from this telescope, and uh, recognizes its importance, you know, to literally, you know, everybody's life in the sense of inspiration. And I should point out, by the way, that in my private office, just off the uh, oval, I've got a picture of Jupiter from uh, the Hubble. Twenty years after launching on a space shuttle and opening its instruments to the farthest reaches of space, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has become synonymous with exploration, discovery, and even a bit of luck. One of the things that Hubble has done is it really taught us something about our place in the universe and, and our role within it. We want to know how did the universe start? How did our galaxy start? How did the Earth start? How did life on Earth start? And we also want to know how will all of these things end? When the telescope arrived, there was a lot of anticipation because there was so much extraordinary effort re required at, um, at KSC in order to, uh, to assure that the telescope was going to be able to maintain in the kind of environment that it had to be. And, and that meant a cleanliness standard that was extremely pristine, far beyond anything that we had ever launched before. With years of design and construction behind it, the Hubble was sealed inside Discovery for liftoff. The Hubble Space Telescope flew into the national consciousness on April 24, 1990, inside the payload bay of Space Shuttle Discovery. The launching of the telescope itself was uh, a huge deal because uh, the Hubble Space Telescope was um, long awaited and it was supposed to be launched uh, in the year that the Challenger accident happened. Hubble was different from land-based observatories because it would operate from a point hundreds of miles above the distorting effects of Earth's atmosphere. Though its 94 and a half inch mirror is small compared to those built on the ground, the telescope is huge by spacecraft standards. At more than 43 feet long, the telescope took up most of the shuttle's payload bay. But as large as Hubble was, it was sent up with a tiny flaw in its main mirror. It was an imperfection less than the width of a human hair, but it was enough to blur Hubble's images and leave the observatory's potential in doubt. To find out uh, two months after launch that it was launched with a misshapen mirror was uh, crushing to NASA. When the telescope had its spherical aberration and <laughs> needed glasses, um, we had already built expectations to the point that they were expecting to see these kind of things right away when in fact even if the telescope had worked where it's going to take astronomers a considerable amount of time to get some of that data and then to see what else Hubble was going to find that we didn't know about. The telescope was quite powerful even with the flaw, but NASA knew it would have to fix it. So engineers set out to build Hubble a set of contact lenses. So I think that was our, probably our biggest challenge was to try to make people realize that, that these things were still going to happen. We just needed a little time to fix this problem. Being able to uh, restore the Hubble Space Telescope's uh, observational uh, capabilities was incredibly important to the agency and they put together a great plan to do it. Astronauts made five back-to-back -back spacewalks during the repair mission, a first. They spent more than 35 hours working on the telescope in the payload bay. The Hubble repair had effects reaching beyond the telescope's health as well. This mission wasn't just about restoring the Hubble Space Telescope, it was about whether NASA had the capability to go off and build the International Space Station. The, the problem was fixed to the extent that it never occurs to anybody to even think about it anymore because the results are just so dramatic from the Hubble. 
The first images from the telescope proved the servicing achieved its goal. The space telescope was free to look into the farthest distances ever seen, nearly as far back as the beginning of the universe. Astronauts made four more servicing flights to the Hubble Space Telescope to upgrade its instruments and replace critical components. We did it in a way that we knew it was the last time we were ever going to visit the telescope and we had to do everything to it that we wanted to do if we wanted it to last a lot longer. So that made it more complex. And when the mission was over, the feeling was we'd done it. They had seen uh, different worlds uh, for the very first time uh, through the eyes of the Hubble Space Telescope and it's really expanded uh, the general public's uh, view of the universe, uh, how the universe began, uh, what the ultimate fate of the universe is going to be. It has ignited, uh, it, it just has ignited the imagination of the uh, collective uh, American public. The Space Telescope repaid each mission with more incredible views of space that all could see and appreciate. Hubble observations astounded researchers by showing the universe was not only expanding, it was speeding up. Imagine your amazement if when I throw these keys up, you would suddenly see these keys accelerating towards the ceiling. This is what we discovered. This was extraordinarily surprising and it led to this notion of dark energy that is pushing on the universe to accelerate. Once we began to get things back from Hubble, the scientists were beginning to see physical processes going on that they didn't really understand and hadn't been able to see before. Twenty years after opening a new eye on the universe, Hubble continues to dazzle by reaching farther back in time and space. The light that we're just now receiving from some of these galaxies and different objects show younger and younger galaxies and stars the light for which when they left that galaxy the earth hadn't even been formed yet that's how far back in time Hubble is seen. We're talking about questions that a few tens of years ago we didn't even know to ask. The whole thing is it's a, it's a very storied program from the very first launch until the last servicing mission. There are more questions for astronomers to answer and Hubble will remain in orbit to answer them for years to come. <laughs>